We are seeing Adam Price in person for the first time. He's the Bellevue man charged with murdering his two young children. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Quinicia Fraser. We heard hours of testimony today, including from the woman who found the bodies of Theodore and Emily Price. The KETV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine takes us in the courtroom for tonight's big story. Maddie? Six witnesses taking the stand today recounting details from May 16, 2021, when Emily and Teddy's bodies were found inside Adam Price's Bellevue home, all helping paint the picture of that fateful day to the jury. A warning, the details you're about to hear are graphic. Raw emotion as Morgan Clark, the woman who discovered five-year-old Emily and three-year-old Teddy Price's bodies fully clothed, laying in their beds. Here's her desperate 911 call from May 16, 2021. Clark, a family friend, says she went to check on the kids after seeing their mother, Mary Nielsen's Facebook post, pleading for help after not hearing from her kids or soon-to-be ex-husband for days. Did you see anybody in Emily's room? Emily was in there. Where was Emily when she was in the room? Just hours prior, former Bellevue police officer Larry Schwartz testifying he conducted a welfare check at Price's house, but I didn't have any uh, proper cause to believe that there was any thing amiss or out of the ordinary. Later, first responders to the scene confirming Clark's frantic claims that the children were dead. Both patients were declared code four, and code four means they are beyond resuscitation efforts. It smelled like a uh, rotting meat, the smell of death. Deaths, the prosecution say Adam Price premeditated because at approximately 7.05 p.m. he withdrew $500 from his checking account at the Wells Fargo ATM. They believe Price quickly took out another $1,000 then later left for California, leaving possible clues behind. Those are the items that were on the kitchen table, uh, the photo out on the ring and the phone. But the defense arguing investigators left too many stones unturned. You will hear that alternate diagnoses were not excluded and some, in some cases were not even explored. Including herbicide and pesticides found in the trash. We'll hear from more witnesses tomorrow, including Emily and Teddy's mother. Reporting live, Maddie Augustine, KETV Newswatch 7.